Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Nexus XT45 full copper radiators from Alpha Cool. I actually had a funny conversation with Slick where he saw the box for these products and he was like, oh, OC Cool, what brand is that? And I was like, you mean Alpha Cool? And he's like, oh, I see. Yes, jokes, ahoy. Um, so what's cool about these radiators is the fact that they are, as it says on the box, extremely, I mean, full, um, uh, okay, I didn't get far enough into saying that for you to actually get the joke, extremely heavy. They are full copper, so they actually weigh more than the brass aluminum or copper or brass or aluminum or all aluminum or whatever other kinds of radiator designs because copper is heavier than all of those other metals. It doesn't actually translate into being like that much heavy. It's not like, oh man, I've got copper radiators in my system. Like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to move around. It's nothing like that, but it does add a little bit of, a little bit of heft to them. And once they're full of water, it should actually make even more of a difference. Now, the main difference between copper and aluminum is that copper conducts heat better, while aluminum is generally regarded as a better dissipator of heat. So that's why it's usually been an acceptable, um, an acceptable sort of shortcut to go with copper tubes, and then uh, often brass end tanks and aluminum fins. Whereas Alpha Cool has gone, okay, you know what? We're just gonna go all freaking out, and we're gonna go all copper. This is a thick style radiator, so it's. Um, it's not like it's not a slim radiator. It's a silence optimized radiator. So it uses a, a Not very dense thin array in order to allow you to use even though the radiator is thicker uh, Lower RPM fans in order to achieve the cooling you need. It's also got a ton of different options in terms of mounting um, Some of which I actually don't even understand why you would need so they've got inlets and outlets on both sides which means, I mean, you could, uh, you could kind of like SLI them, so you could put a fan in between, you could run multiple radiators like that, so that'd be kind of cool, actually. Um, alternately, you could sort of, you know, you could have it mounted this way, or this way, or you could have multiple devices going in and out, so you could go, okay, uh, my CPU block, and my GPU block and my something else are all gonna go in and then I'm gonna have one outlet. So you could actually use these radiators to split or join multiple different parts of your loop, which is kind of cool as well. Uh, parallel, par 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 parallel flow is generally better than serial flow for, uh, for the overall performance of the loop, especially if there are components that are not particularly flow sensitive, such as GPU blocks, where it might be the difference between a couple degrees running three blocks in parallel versus running them in serial, but the pressure drop for running them in serial is much, much more dramatic and can negatively affect the performance of something like a CPU block. So beyond that, I don't know how much there is to say. In my case here, I've got one of their dual 120 millimeter radiators and one of their single 120 millimeter radiators. Oh, this is cool. Check this out. They're going all out on this all copper thing. The mounting hardware for the fans is made of copper. And look at this, even the plugs for the, uh, for the G1 quarter threaded holes at the top are made of copper as well. That's going to look really, really sharp in a build that's, uh, that's all copper themed. So if you have exposed copper on your blocks, um, like plexi tops or whatever else like that, that's gonna look really, really good. So the single 120 millimeter version is just more of the same except smaller. It's the same thickness, it's the same fin density, and it's the same mounting options for the, uh, for the barbs and fittings themselves. So I think that pretty much covers it. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Alpha Cool Nexus XT45 full copper radiators. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.